look, I do not recommend a gamer chair to anyone for any reason, ever. So I have some exciting news. I am moving offices, as you can see. Uh, fighting off a terrible cold, allergies are coming, we move tomorrow. All this needs to be packaged up and ready to go, so. That's my task for the day. My renders on my main computer finally finished so I can shut it off, power everything down, get all the cables wrapped, and move to the new location tomorrow. So I'm excited and I can't wait for you to see the new space because hopefully it will be creatively invigorating. You'll see. So here we go. It's the next day, the movers came, took everything out of here, um, kind of, it's weird. It's weird walking around in this room with nothing in it. I shot so much content in this room that no one is going to see for a while, probably. So this is like some, for some of you, maybe the first and last time you'll have seen this office. Now comes the part where I load my desktop computer, both my desktop computers, load them up into my car and my Rokoko smart suit, my graphics cards and my audio equipment. Uh, basically my entire livelihood gets to come with me in the car for a little drive across town. Finally, finally get everything into the new office. I didn't want this new office just to be the generic new office. It's the first office space that I can truly do whatever I want with. And I don't really know what that is yet. I just kind of wanna have a space and just do something with it. I have a nice big space. We've painted it completely white. A blank canvas is what I asked for and that is exactly what I got. I want it to be functional. I want it to be beautiful. I want to walk in every day and feel inspired. I think that's something that my previous office did a really good job at is it set a really nice, relaxing working environment. Um, and I wanna do that times 10. It's gonna be great, I'm really excited. And here we are. When I said blank slate, I literally meant blank slate, completely white. Now it has been a long day, I am drained, but I really wanna put this space together because behind me is all my stuff from the old office and then some. Now there's no possible way I'm gonna get all of this done today. In fact, I have some grand plans for this office. Maybe step one starting with an AC unit because this little vent over here is not quite doing the trick. It is hot and as you can see, the humid afternoon sun is beating down into this office. Whew. I'm honestly just ready to get started so I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, this camera's battery and my own personal battery is thoroughly drained, so I'm gonna stop for today, eat some Indian food, pick up where I left off tomorrow. So it's been a couple days, and as you can see, I'm not quite there. <laughs> but I've got the big pieces together. Not on that side, that's a later project, but over here, what I'm calling the lounge, I've got the big pieces together. I've got my computer set up. It's already, already rendering. Currently rendering Tale of Ten Cities, we're back at it. Um, had to throw this fan in the window because it's getting hot here. Throwing an AC unit over here. There's one big missing piece to make this section of the office feel truly like my own space. And that of course is the decorations. So Cleo's gonna watch, I'm gonna decorate and get this space looking great. finished up my desk area. Now, I think there's some room for improvement here, but the sort of art direction of this is like, what if my workstations, plural, were like in like a wall of ivy, like a wall of nature? Um, that's kind of the idea. My cat would absolutely eat real plants, so these are all fake, things that I've collected 
over the years. We have like a mushroom motif. I have like a few mushrooms. I have a lot of this um, actually real life moss that lives in this little jar, if you can see that. It smells not great. I'm pretty sure they paint this. I don't think this, I think this moss is actually technically white. Uh, they paint it for effect. It's not my business. Also a big, big element here is the gamer chair. Now look, I do not recommend a gamer chair to anyone for any reason, ever. Um, the gamer chair is terrible. Why do I have it then? Well, it was COVID. My chair literally broke, like I fell out of it. We were in New Jersey. There were supply line issues. Um, so there was really nothing available. So I basically had to get this here gamer chair and the rest is history. It's terrible. It's a terrible chair. Um, if I would not wish this chair on my worst enemy, I can't wait until mine breaks um, and I'm forced to get a new one. And just like that, we are done. Not officially done, obviously, because there's plenty to do. And as you can see, this half of the room is just a disaster. So I'm gonna have to just tidy this up a little bit, but my workstations are vibey as heck. I've already worked here a little bit and it's been great. So having the added decoration, added, having the added, having the added vibe is just gonna enhance my creativity. The lounge over here is looking fantastic. I cannot wait to just hang out, chill with my friends, chill with my family, with my wife and my cat. And later on, this bookshelf filled with all of my art reference, novels, all that good stuff. And one day very soon, an air conditioner to make it less boiling in here. <laughs> so that's it. Obviously not a finished product, but for now, that's as far as I can get. And honestly, I could spend forever working on decorating this office, but I gotta get to work. Tale of 10 Cities is gonna edit itself. I have like actual client work that I need to get started on, like today actually. So I'm gonna finish this Doc Pop Poppy and sit down and get to it. Thanks for coming on the ride. I will be sure to update you with any major updates to the office, to the space. Um, I'm really passionate about this kind of thing. I'm, if you couldn't already tell, I'm super excited that I finally have a space to do whatever I want with. So till next time, everyone, I'm Keegan Larwin, and I can't wait to see what you make.